Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today I am doing a review of a keyboard that I really should have done a long time ago. Um, this is one of the first budget keyboards that really got me into modding, that really said, all right, let's go for it, because I've been able to purchase this keyboard as cheap as $12.99. Now this is the EUSU K620. It is their TKL. Um, now, the ones I've purchased, I, I don't think I've ever purchased one of their RGB ones. But I, they, they say, there's a choice for RGB. I don't think I've ever seen them on sale, so I can't say what their price is. Um, but they do have RGB on the side, and they have a, monoch a monoch monochrome color, which is like a, it's a bluish white. So, but it, this keyboard, it normally sells, I think, for $25.99, but like I said, it's gone on sale for as low as $12.99. And I have, I, one of the first keyboards I got into and I gutted it and modded it was one of these. And I actually, I'm, I'm gonna come kind of kind of do a comparison here in a minute. But, um, so this one I bought a while ago. I've, I've yet to mod it. It's for a friend of mine because it has the colors he likes. Um, you know, he's fine with the keys, but uh, so I don't have the original packaging. Um, but as you can see, we have a very basic TKL, except that this one is a little special. Uh, some people might not agree with my sentiment, but it's special because it uses a plastic plate. So you've got your switches and then Now, I do believe they are coming out with the, uh, let me back up, Otemu has new hot style, hot swap style sockets, and they're more accepting to most switches, and the newer boards, uh, I know Otemu, I mean, Otemu, Iyusu has put out a few new models of their board, and they have the new sockets, so hopefully they will do that with these, but right now, these are, we're dealing with the old style Milmax you know, hot swap sockets. But basically, as you can see, the plate is basically built onto the top. So it's it's just a plastic plate um, that goes down. Now it does have the RGB that lights up. And can, we'll plug that up in a second and I'll show you. But I just kind of wanted to, now this is one of those keyboards that in my opinion, I mean, if you don't want to spend too much money because you can take what comes with it and you'll get a, a decent enough sound if you lube the switches, if you uh, balance the stabilizers because they're they're going to be or replace them um, and, and do that little bit of work. Now, one of the first ones I did, and I'll bring up in a second, I'm going to do a sound test of both of them. But basically, I mean, you don't get... I mean, it sounds like a $15 keyboard. You also don't have a port. So, I mean, some people actually prefer it this way. That's fine. Um, but most people prefer, hey, you know, I'd like to use different USB cables or, you know, whatever. But it's, I think it's, in my opinion, it's better to have a port. Uh, so I ported mine as well. So, I, like I said, I did some very destructive uh, changes, but I'm happy with it. Uh, but this keyboard, any at any price below twenty dollars, I think, especially if you intend to start getting into modding, this is going to be one of those kits that. I mean, there's some caveats. You have to be careful. You're, you're dealing with plastic studs. Now you can, and I have on the other one, replaced the uh, broken plastic studs and been able to basically just heat in place uh, screw in nuts. So um, I've basically got that one where I want it. There's not much room inside the mod, but there is some room and you can make some difference. But like I said, I'll be doing a sound test of either. Now it does have one set of feet. So you do get two different typing angles, six and 10 degrees. Um, it, it's a nice keyboard once modded, but like I said, it's, it's a, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny because it's got that side RGB. So it does give it a, a, a cool effect. But anyway, so as you can see, 
Um, I added a little back there to the port. I meant to 3D print a piece and I never got to it. I'm not quite shut because I do need to add one more. Um, uh, last time I went in there, I broke another plastic stud, so I need to add another um, hot or hot push in a, uh, a nut or where I can screw in to there. But anyway, you can kind of see the single backlight and you can see the RGBs on the side the dance and you could speed it up slow it down and you can set it to individual colors um, but this so as I was saying this is uh, I mean you're not gonna get anything amazing and you know if you want to port it you're gonna have to port it I didn't do the prettiest of jobs there as you can see but I mean it does work and I like it I can use this keyboard TKLs are um, I think my preferred layout. I mean, I can work with 65 and up, and I'm trying to get used to a 40 here and there. But anyway, I'm working on a TKL video. That's why I was like, hey, I don't wonder where's the review that I did on this one. And I never really did a proper review. So, like I said, this one has a very um, interesting mod. It, you know, from the pennies to the super glue to the uh, layer of velvet. Tempest tape. Like I said, I'm using Rose Red, uh, Aqua Rose Red switches, and these are the YMDK PVT die sub caps. Um, and they are OEM, I believe. Yeah, they're OEM. And it's very marbly, in my opinion, poppy and marbly. Um, and it doesn't even have any PE foam. I wonder how much poppier it would get with some PE foam pads. It'd be something to give a shot to but anyway I just wanted to give a quick review I'm going to do a sound test stock a sound test of mine that's been modded and you guys can uh, just get your opinions but like I said I, I got other ones to cover I just wanted to get this one out and I'm just surprised I hadn't done a review on it so uh, enjoy the sound test until then keep calm keyboard on